Welcome back to another draft preview. Today we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Chargers. It's your boy Bruno Bra, aka Hunter, and today we're going to get started with the offensive side of the ball. Obviously, the Chargers are golden at quarterback with Golden Boy himself, Justin Herbert, He's been one of the most elite quarterbacks in the league ever since he entered. Top ten every year in almost every single stat. Austin Eckley requested a trade this offseason, didn't come through. I highly doubt he gets traded. Maybe he sits out for the season. However, when he plays, he's one of the better running backs in the league. Obviously, Joshua Kelly, Joshua Kelly and Isaiah Spiller are decent backups as well. At the wide receiver position for the Chargers, it is a very strong suit with Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, one of the top wide receiver duos in the league. And then you also have Joshua Palmer and David Guyton to ride it out at three and four. I mean, two more guys that have shown potential in this league as well and have flashed multiple times. Tight end's very tricky, but also pretty cool as well with Gerald Everett, Donald Parham, and Trey McKinney with all three of them showing stuff in their short careers. Gerald Everett's been in the league a little bit longer though. He played with the Rams in Seattle. He's been kind of passed around a little bit. Donald Parham has shown flashes, but definitely has potential to be that tight end one for the Chargers moving forward. And then you look at that offensive line. Rashawn Slater, one of the best tackles in the league. Zion Johnson was a rookie last year, but was really good. Trey Pipkins, the right tackle, could be replaced, but also really good as well. Corey Lindsay's had a rough start to his Chargers tenure, but can also be a valuable starter. And then say your same thing as well. I mean, interior-wise, they could definitely get better besides Zion Johnson, but the O-line in general is not bad. Now let's look at this defense real quick. When you look at the D-line, on the edge, it's kind of weak. Obviously, you have Joey Bosa, one of the better rushing edges in the league. Morgan Fox, not great. Carlo Kemp, not great. Chris Rump, decent. Ty Shelby, not great. And then DT, Sebastian Joseph Day, one of the better defense tackles in the in the AFC. Austin Johnson, nobody. Really, that entire D-line needs tons of more depth. Because obviously, at the linebacker position, they are pretty much suited well. With Eric Kendricks, the long-term vet from Minnesota coming over this offseason. Kenneth Murray and Khalil Mack as well, the main stays. And then... The secondary is one of the better ones. J.C. Jackson obviously got injured last year, but he's going to be fully healthy to start the year. Asante Samuel, one of the best young corners in the league. And then that strong safety with Dermon James. Free safety is kind of a hole, though. I would like to see if J.T. Woods could slide into that eventually, the second-year player out of Baylor. However, I don't know if he's going to be able to fit in that spot, and the Chargers might be better off just upgrading that free safety spot. The defense as a whole, though, they've got to get better on the line, especially with the run defense. And they got to add a couple more pieces in the secondary, mainly safety. Linebackers-wise, though, maybe you want another linebacker for depth. But for this draft, they mostly should be focusing on how to upgrade that defense. No. All right, so let's get started with the Chargers draft, mock draft here. They pretty much have a pick in every round, starting off with the 22nd pick in the first round. Obviously, with Bijan on the board, I mean, if Ek Austin Eckler's still on the team, there's no need for Bijan. However, if Austin Eckler does get traded, I mean, if Bijan's here at 22, you want to take it. But for this mock draft in general, obviously Eckler's on the team, so we're not going to be taking him. So you look at other guys, maybe you get Brian Branch. Maybe he can be a guy that can switch over to a free safety instead of being that strong safety for the Chargers. Jackson Smith and Jibba, maybe you want another wide receiver because of the aging of Keenan Allen. Maybe you want to go another corner, get a CB3 and Cam Smith. Michael Mayer would be a good pick as well. I think though, the most valuable pick here for the Chargers is going to be to get a guy on the inside interior of the line, and that's going to be John Michael Schmitz. Maybe he's a guy that can slide in and play right guard. Maybe he's a guy that can move over to left tackle. Either way, this is a good pick for the Chargers, and they get more interior line help that they need very so badly. So here in the second round, obviously guys like Dalton Kincaid and Deontay Banks won't be here, so we're just going to overlook those guys. But when you look at other people that are available, Carl Phillips could be a guy you like here. DJ Turner, for example. But the edge rushing issue for the Chargers is so bad that they have to go edge rusher here. And that's going to be Felix from Kansas State. Another guy who's really shown up in draft season. He's been flying up boards all draft season as well. I mean, just an edge rusher who's been really good in his entire career. And then here in the third round, Maybe you want to go get you some linebacker depth, corner depth, maybe another tight end. Honestly, I wouldn't be against drafting another edge rusher, though. And Zach Harrison is a guy that, if you're the Chargers, you kind of would take the shot on. Brandon Joseph from Notre Dame, guy who was supposed to go high last year in the draft and went back to school because he decided to transfer to Notre Dame. Could also be a guy here that would fit pretty well. And honestly, I think that's the pick we're going to go with Brandon Joseph, the safety out of Notre Dame. 
hopefully for the Chargers, he can come in and be a for me safety type to go next to Derwin James to really fill up that safety position that they need so badly. And here on 126, you just got to go BPA, and that's going to be Overshawn. You get a linebacker, more linebacker depth. Maybe he can turn to an edge rusher with Kilo Mack sliding down a little bit as well. And then here at 158, not really liking a lot of options here. Maybe you go get another a and running back. I mean, highly unlikely, but I mean, if Eckler does somehow get traded before the draft, it's not a bad idea. I wouldn't be against them adding another wide receiver with their current roster. I think after the four, it's kind of low, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and draft Grant Dubus out of Charlotte. Really showed out during the uh, senior bowl, actually, and caught a lot of attention from a lot of different teams. I think he's going to go way higher than a lot of people were expecting in this draft. And then here in the sixth round, uh, kind of the same thing as what we've been going through, really. I think at this point, you're just taking to take BPA for need, and that's going to have to be EQ from Auburn. You just get another edge rusher. You keep adding more and more depth on that D-line. And then here are 241, not a whole lot left. A few edge rushers you can take a shot on. And I think that's probably what you're going to end up doing here is just taking more and more edge rushers because they need the depth badly. And we're going to take Moro Ojamu from Texas to round out the mock draft. So if you're the Chargers, I mean, you get your interior line help. You get three edge rushers to solidify the depth on the outside behind Bosa and most likely Kilo Mack when he slides down. Brandon Joseph maybe is a guy that can develop into a free safety this offseason. That would help out Derwin James a lot. And then DeMarvin Overson, a linebacker out of Texas who's very athletic, very long as well, can come in and maybe learn behind Eric Kendricks and be your future starting linebacker. And then Grand Dubus is just a wide receiver, just more depth for that position. Camp bodies more than they have right now. And just really rounds out the rest of that offense. Thank you so much for watching today's Chargers draft preview. If you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.